bookworms as the promised i have two special guests with me today and if you're as excited as i am listen carefully i have with me dr john and dr Dewar from the dentist next door now if you are as excited as i am to learn all about dentistry then stay tuned this is one video you do not want to miss <laughs> Hi again, so like I would have said before, I'm Dr. Jones. I am a dentist, also known as a dental surgeon. So a dentist is a doctor that specializes in taking care of your oral health, oral meaning mouth. We um, manage and maintain your perfect smile. So that would include coming in, getting an examination, getting a cleaning done, doing x-rays that will show us, like behind me, that will show us if you have any cavities in between the teeth, the health of your bones, so we can create a treatment plan fit for you. All right, so I know I'm speaking to kids um, and like preteens, so there are different myths that um and facts about your oral health so i'm gonna be talking about a few of them so you guys may have a mixed dentition and that would mean that you have some baby teeth and some adult teeth and both are important your baby teeth holds the space until you get your permanent teeth which you'll have for the rest of your life until the end of your life so it's very important that you take care of your baby teeth you brush you floss and even if you have cavities to fill you fill them as well because a lot of parents and kids think that you don't have to fill and treat baby teeth because they're gonna fall out but it is very important just as important as your permanent teeth okay so when i was younger i used to suck my finger every single day up until high school and it resulted in my teeth shifting i had my two front teeth but they weren't in the correct position as it should be right and this can affect your bite and also affect your your confidence in smiling so if it is that you are a thumb sucker or you suck your tongue um i know it can be hard but think about the long term you want to save your teeth you want a beautiful smile you want to not um put any pressure on your parents to pay for braces so what you can do is find other habits that you can use to reduce the the dental oral bad habits that you have like you know tongue sucking or thumb sucking so if it is that you find the urge to suck your tongue or your thumb maybe you could play a game on your phone maybe you could read your books because you should be in school and doing school work um so yeah that's one 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 advice i have one other topic that we can talk about is bad breath or halitosis it is a topic that is very uncomfortable for a lot of people but it is very common and it is because you're not treating the issue but ignoring the issue i have many factors that can lead to that it could be poor oral health which would mean that you're not brushing or flossing properly or it could be due to your diet or it could be due to you not drinking lots of water because um lack of saliva in your mouth can also lead to bad breath as well so it is very very important that you attack this and not try to ignore it so if it is that you have bad breath um you can make sure that you're visiting your dentist every six months making sure that you're brushing making sure that you're flossing using a mouth wrist and also brushing your tongue and also with regards to morning breath everyone has has that i mean it is very common and it is only because you're asleep for so long and that means that the saliva in your mouth is reduced so the bacteria in your mouth is having a like a field day playing with the plaque that is trapped in between your teeth and the good thing about morning breath is it can be reversed as soon as you wake up you brush your teeth you floss use mouth rinse and you're good to go
okay so if you're interested in becoming a dentist you have to make sure that this is something that you're really passionate about um, if it is that you are interested you have to make sure that you're doing the sciences and I would also recommend that you try to get close to a dentist you could be your family dentist and come in on some days and see the procedures just to make sure that this is something that you definitely want to do you're dealing with lots of people um from young to old and it, it involves lots of blood it can involve lots of blood so if you're squeamish this profession is not for you right but all in all i would recommend it i am happy to be a dentist and if it is that this is something that you want to do go for it study hard and you'll get there Join us in part two as we actually get to experience a live cleaning with the dentist. Doing okay? All right.